So here we have the, the limo, which is a little less hip-hop than I imagined it looking. But we are showing synthesizers. Yeah, I, we're still a Berlin company, you know? That's right. <laughs> we, we called the... This is what a Berlin limousine looks like. <laughs> Meet a driver in the front, Felix. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, and here we are with the Coma pedals. All right. So, do, can we get you some champagne? Well, my video skills look like I'm drinking so. champagne anyway, <laughs> so now I'll have an excuse. Awesome. Good. Let's test some pedals. Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, it, all, it all starts automatically. We got this small uh, beauty case. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, we got this... Uh, we got the small beauty case sent here, just giving a sine wave because in a way you can show the stuff the best when you just have a constant signal, so you actually hear the, the sounds changing. Uh, first of all, first off, we have here the uh, Com Electronic FT201. Uh, it's a filter sequencer. It's a state variable filter, means that it has uh, three uh, uh, outputs that work simultaneously. Okay. So that means that you can have uh, a high pass, a band pass, and a low pass. At this moment, we're uh, uh, plugged in on low pass. Champagne. Ah, the champagne. <laughs> you want some caviar as well? Oh, well we that's that. uh, that's that I can't later. do caviar, champagne, and video <laughs> at the same time. Well, okay, you know, it's. it's it, it's, it's one of the options that you have. Now that the driver is also taking pictures. Yeah, he has a fish, la fish lens He's camera. He's also taking champagne. He's <laughs> <laughs> it's all happening. Good. Um, so I got this thing patched up, low pass, uh, audio in. And this is what it sounds like. It's a very simple low pass filter sweep. Let's turn the volume up a little bit. Let's add, the, add a little bit of uh, resonance. Oh, <laughs> we got these uh, sliders in to make it easier for also guitar players to use them. So you can, uh, when you're playing and you have them on stage, yeah. you use them as a, literally as a stone box, not as a tabletop pedal. That you can just uh, uh, um, you can use those sliders. sliders. Your feet? Yeah, Great. they're very steady. Add a little bit of resonance. Good. So the filter part, three filters, but it also has uh, a, um, a sequencer part, a ten-step sequencer. So you can go from two to ten steps, which are here on the board, and you can set the cutoff for each different step. So you can turn these small knobs over here, also while they are active, to, uh, to change your, your setting. So you can uh, go also faster. Now we have the, uh, a filter sequence running. And the cool thing is when you just turn this big cutoff knob here, uh, the whole yeah, sequence is... Two complete to the low, the lowest part. Add a little bit of resonance again. Very simple. Goes up to ten steps. So why ten? We couldn't fit more on the pedal. Good reason. <laughs> that is actually the main reason. We couldn't okay. fit more on. Um, we wish we could, but um, ten was like okay. It's like a nice round number, and it uh, it fits perfect. Okay. Um, so, two features, main features I have explained, um, cut off, filter and uh, the sequencer. As you can see it's a normal stone box, so they have uh, uh, switches, but they also have uh, a sensor on board, which is over here, it's an infrared sensor. It sends out a CV signal, and the CV signal comes out here on the 10 point patch bay. Let's plug it in, let's see what happens. What you, for instance, can do with the sensor is change the cutoff. Oh, I see. So these these three things that I see in the corner are actually these are IR distance sensors. Yes, they they measure exactly the distance between the pedal and your hand, 
um, and send out a CV signal between 0 to 9 volts, which means that you can uh, control almost everything with it. So this, for instance, now I plugged it in, I patched it up from here to there into cutoff. You can also uh, patch it into resonance. Take the resonance a bit down. You can make these nice touches of resonance. Into Then we also have a couple of uh, really cool uh, features with the sensor that work well with the uh, 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 sequencer part of the pedal. So let's, uh, let's turn the sequencer on again. Let's go for six steps. And then choose sequencer reset. You can always reset the sequencer back to one. Same goes for external clock, it's also a, a setting for the sequencer, and with that you can step through all the steps. Oh, clever. Yeah. And then you can of course also set the steps. So you imagine people, I guess, this is useful both for guitarists who would be doing this with their feet, uh -huh. and for the rest of us who, who want a kind of a novel way of controlling the instrument, right? It, yeah, of course, it's, it, it's, it is an effect pedal, so what, what it mainly does is creating effects, but the cool thing about uh, uh, these pedals, and of course also the sensors, is, is that you can really use it as an instrument. It, makes, it, gives, it, a, uh, it gives it an instrument kind of layer yeah. that, that, that for many people, especially uh, producers who are really searching for sounds or trying to shape the sounds in different ways, is, is very uh, handy. And also it, has been, it's been, it, it is used in that way also uh, by many people. Yeah. Um, and especially because it's um, it's such literally a hands-on thing. It's not twisting a knob. It's not really fine-tuning. You can just literally hold your hand over it and, 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 and catch the vibe. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, sure, that's sure. very important. Cool. But I'm trying to think. I mean, this is something that's kind of unique to what you guys are doing. There are some boxes like this out there. Uh huh. They'll sort of either be stomp boxes or they'll be kind of desktop units. So this is one that you can kind of go from one to the other. Yeah. A little, a little bit more seamlessly. You've got the stop. You can kind of go in and tweak. You can patch CV. You can do all this stuff. You, 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 uh, you don't really have to choose between the stop style effect and the, the desktop style effect. No, and, and we don't want to make people choose. I think uh, they're very versatile. Or did you, well, I make them, so I kind of have to say that, of course, as well. But they're completely I, I, brilliant. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're Made by completely brilliant people. Thanks so much. <laughs> no, but. Um, they, they, they are instruments and they're also, um, we are also an instrument run company and we really want to um, literally come up with tools or things that we um, have been thinking about like, oh shit, we're on the road, we're touring, this is what I would really like to have as a yeah. tool on my table or on my floor and uh, we never found it so we thought let's make it ourselves and this is what came out, now we're sitting here in Frankfurt in a, in a, in a, in a van uh, testing them, so that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, another thing I have to tell about it is um, it also has a sequencer out, so if you let the sequencer run, um, which, like this, uh, you can also use it as a CV output to plug into synthesizer again to make different structures with other instruments as well. Good, that was the filter. Cool. Then we have another uh, pedal which is uh, next to it, it's a, a PD-101, it's a 